uh, continue to solve uh, more MCQs. Question 31. Uh, in the given figure, we have tangents PT and QT. And uh, angle TPS is 45, TQS is 30. Then what is the value of X? Okay, so we have tangents PT and QT. And some angles are given. We have to find out what is angle X which is angle P S Q. Okay. Okay. So let's apply some uh, circle and tangent theorems. First, uh, let's look at the 30 degree over here. This is the angle between tangent Q T and chord Q S. So according to the theorem, this angle is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So angle in the alternate segment is over here angle S R Q that will be 30 degree in the same way if I have angle of 45 degree between tangent PT and chord PS then this 45 degree angle is equal to angle PRS that is also 45 degree okay then if I look at full angle R which is PRQ PRQ angle will be 30 plus 45 75 degree then uh, I am interested in X which is angle PSQ so I can look at my cyclic quadrilateral PSQR PSQR will be a cyclic quadrilateral and I know that the opposite angles are supplementary so X plus 75 degree will be equal to 180 degree therefore x will be 180 minus 75 which is 105 degree so option d is correct moving ahead question from mensuration a cylindrical metallic wire is stretched to double its length which of the following will not change for the wire after stretching so if I take any material and change its shape or cut it into two pieces or anything like that, then the surface areas will change. The length, the height, diameter, radius, all of that might change. But what will not change is the volume. So in this question, the volume of the wire will not change. The curved surface area, total surface area and radius will change. but volume will remain the same okay next question is question 33 we have a, a cone a right circular cone that has radius of base equal to the height of the cone so for example if I have a cone like this the radius of the base is equal to the height or I can take the same variable for both the quantities let's say the radius was X the height is then also X now the volume of the cone is 9702 cubic centimeter centimeter cube then the diameter of the base of the cone is what okay so because volume of the cone is given we can apply the volume of uh, cone formula so volume is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h and in this case we have 1 by 3 pi is 22 by 7 unless specified for calculation then r and h both are the same value so i have taken a variable x so r square will be same as x square multiplied by x so x square into x i'll get x cube so that is equal to this 9702 cubic centimeter so then x cube will be equal to 9702 multiplied by uh, 3 into 7 by 22 and if I do the calculation um, let's say I divide 22 with 11 so this is 2 and if I divide this with 11 I get uh, 884 and then this of if I divide by 2 this is 441 882 actually reduced to 441 and uh, 3 into 7 is 21 441 is 21 square so I have 21 square into 21 which is 21 cube 
x cube will be 21 cube so x will be 21 x I had taken the radius but the question is asking diameter so diameter is twice the radius so 2 times of 21 is 42 centimeter diameter of the base is 42 centimeter moving ahead question 34 a solid sphere of radius 4 centimeter is cut into four identical pieces by two mutually perpendicular planes passing through its center find the total surface area of one quarter piece so we have a sphere if I cut the sphere into two equal parts so it will be a cut um, right through the center right and I will get two hemispheres but here imagine that you are even cutting a hemisphere further into a quarter sphere so they are asking what is the total surface area of a quarter of a sphere, one fourth of a whole sphere. Okay, so for that I can look at what are the surfaces which will be available uh, in that uh, shape. So one is the curved surface area. If I look at the curved surface area of a full sphere, that will be your 4 pi r square. Your full sphere's surface area is 4 pi r square now if this is the curved surface area of a full sphere a quarter sphere will have one fourth of this curved surface area then this is covered then if you can imagine let's say that one part of the sphere is like half a circle half a circle will be on one side and half a circle will be on another side apart from the curved surface area okay from one side half a circle another side half a circle so full circle is pi r square half a circle will be half of that and there are two of them so this will give me the total surface area of that quarter piece of sphere so if I calculate I will have pi r square and this is also adding up to pi r square so it is 2 pi r square so it is 2 pi into radius was 4 centimeters so 4 square 4 square is 16 16 into 2 32 so 32 pi centimeter square option B is correct moving ahead question 35 two identical solid hemispheres are kept in contact to form a sphere the ratio of the total surface areas of two hemispheres to the surface area of the sphere formed is what so if I look at one hemisphere total surface area of a hemisphere is its curved surface area plus the area of the circle so curved surface area will be 2 pi r square circle is pi r square so it is 3 pi r square and there are two of these hemispheres 3 pi r square and 3 pi r square total is 6 pi r square this is the combined total surface area for two hemispheres and if I compare that with the surface area of one sphere that is 4 pi r square so the ratio 6 pi r square is to 4 pi r square is same as 6 is to 4 which is same as 3 is to 2 which is option B 3 is to 2 Question 36 is from trigonometric identities. Cosec square theta plus sec square, square theta is equal to what? Okay, so I can apply uh, some identities that I know. For example, cosec square theta is same as 1 plus cot square theta. And sec square theta is same as 1 plus tan square theta. So I will have cot square theta plus tan square theta plus 1 plus 1 will be 2 so if I compare this with um, a square plus b square plus 2ab it is a plus b whole square now 2 is same as 2 into cot theta into tan theta the reason is cot and tan are reciprocal of each other so the product 2 into cot theta into tan theta this product is 1 so 2 is 
you can imagine 2 as 2 times of cot theta tan theta. So if I compare with a square plus b square plus 2ab, that is same as a plus b whole square. So here it is same as cot theta plus tan theta whole square, which is option C. Okay, question 37. If A is this much, B is this much, then value of A minus B is what? So A minus B will be 3 sec square theta minus 3 tan square theta minus minus 2 is plus 2. If I take 3 common, sec square theta minus tan square theta. And according to the identity, the value of this is 1. So this is 3 into 1. 3 plus 2 which is 5 which is option number D next question this is from heights and distances at a certain time of day the ratio of height of the pole so pole is a vertical pole and the length of its shadow is 1 is to root 3 so let's say height of pole is 1 unit height of length of shadow is root 3 unit then angle of elevation of the sun so sun will be here and angle of elevation will be this angle theta okay so if i look at this right angle triangle i can look at tan ratio tan of theta will be 1 by root 3 now tan of 30 degree is same as 1 by root 3 so therefore theta has to be 30 degree angle of elevation of the sun at that time has to be 30 degrees then uh, another problem is given a man standing on a ship approaching the port towards the lighthouse is observing the top of the lighthouse so let's say this is my lighthouse and uh, there is a man standing on a ship over here observing the lighthouse top of the lighthouse so angle of elevation of top of the lighthouse let's say initially was alpha then he is approaching the lighthouse he is moving towards the lighthouse so after 10 minutes the angle of elevation changes to beta from alpha to beta so if i compare which angle of elevation is more of course beta will be more than alpha because as you are getting close to the lighthouse the angle of elevation of the top will keep increasing so here option b is correct that alpha is less than beta